Dear colleagues, well, no tangible progress has been made as for a trade agreement uh, with the European Union. Uh, well, we complain about lack of political will here, and some members, some states, have taken regulatory measures to uh, restrain. Uh, trade, uh, export levies and that sort of thing. But uh, non-automatic licenses are going to cost European producers about 45 million euros, no less. And uh, the, the Argentine government has uh, put its hand on the energy sector once again as against its commitments to fight uh, protectionism. And that's a negative sign going out to foreign investments. But uh, we shouldn't just accentuate uh, the negative. You've got to look at the positive. They say they're going to respect human rights and democracy. We've heard that. And the Commission feels that there'll be four and a half billion profit in the agreement if we get it for both sides. Uh, we think that human rights, uh, democratic standards, environmental standards have to be part of the co co body of the agreement. Now, if we want to have an integrated uh, policy approach and defend our economic uh, interests at the same time as putting forward our uh, de democratic values, then we've got to be stronger on this in the next summit between the European Union and uh, Eurolab. So, we want a clearer approach, a more structured approach, so that we can fight uh, obstacles to trade.